right so um, we do have the inflation I mean the CPI data out okay and yep price did reach my first draw of liquidity over here and eventually it did step deeper into this liquidity right here so overall my narrative is correct right just that it didn't really hit my hit my limit order over here but it's okay it's CPI I don't expect to trade this right I'm just satisfied that the narrative is correct so right now as long as the price trades above this area this volume imbalance and this old high I'm looking at the price to run into this volume imbalance right here and it will as well take take out this swing high and I think moving forward I'll give a forward update on Thursday because on Thursday there will be the Fed's interest rates announcement and I think from there we can have a better picture of how 2023 would be and how it's gonna look like overall I'm still bearish because Nasdaq has yet to make a higher high above 13 September okay this is a lower high as compared to Dow Jones and yes okay this is a 13 September candle so as long as Nasdaq remains below I'm looking at an SMT divergence bearish and any breakdowns on the on the higher time frames will indicate a short okay yep uh, I don't mind it going higher even though I'm looking to short um, because the thing is that the higher it goes the more you get to harvest on the way down so no worries no FOMO right just have to wait this is just a one day movement and usually this movements kind of get retraced just like previously over here we do have a CPI on 13 September right the price just went through it and then everything else just followed after right seems like this area was impossible but eventually we did come up to this area here to rebalance this gap so patience all right it always pays off we have this relative equal low sitting right here so any breakdowns or market tops that occur in 2023 i'm, I'm guessing the, the target the first target would be here okay that would be a quite a huge range down okay right so I have nothing else right now I just have to wait and see okay um, and I think that's about it overall satisfied still satisfied right even though I didn't get a trade but yeah I wouldn't want to risk getting into the trade because the spreads are really big in brokers in small brokers especially it, if it spreads you 30 points wow that's a lot of money loss right the the stop loss that you place would not have protected you okay but anyway just for fun that's what uh that's something that i saw on the 15 i think or is it on the 10 i think on the 15 right now uh, prior to this run up we do have this swing low over here and this fair value gap right the price went through and after that it went through another swing high creating a fair value gap a small fair value gap right here okay this was the 8 o'clock candle the price tapped into this fair value gap and then it just pulls higher okay this is a good I mean like you could have traded this but then at the same time if you put your stop loss here can you just imagine how fast this move was if you break it down on a one minute it only took two minutes for the price and there was even a gap so if it was to do it in the reverse, how many points is that, man? That's 30 points. 
And if you extend it even further, can you imagine that your stop loss not protecting you? That's way too risky for me. So this is why I don't trade CPI. I mean, I traded a few times before, but um, okay, uh, I traded three times in total. Um, two times I had success with it, but the third time, the, they always say the third time is the charm, right? So the third time I was stopped out and the spread was insane. Okay, I wasn't prepared for that. And then, yeah, what went through after that was just... I don't think you would want to experience that. So yeah, right now I don't trade CBIs. Okay. And that's about it. Okay, see you guys on Thursday. And uh, tomorrow maybe I will give you like a review but uh my main objective is Thursday. Alright? That's all.